Xi Jinping became president of China in March. This is his first visit to the United States as head of state. Though Washington has its own list of issues to discuss with Mr. Xi, at the top of Beijing's agenda is the U.S. pivot to Asia, which it sees as an attempt to prevent China from becoming a superpower. Senior U.S. officials have tried to reassure the Chinese that the pivot is not aimed at encircling China, as Beijing fears. The Hudson Institute's Michael Pillsbury is also a consultant to the Pentagon. In eight major speeches now, every one, Natalie, says this is not aimed at China. This is not about China. The only, pro the only problem is in Chinese ancient statecraft, they see this as the hegemon and the rising power, and they see this as, ah, the hegemon is reassuring mm -hmm. the rising power. Mm -hmm. But we Chinese are not so stupid to believe this. But I think they should believe it. <laughs> Other analysts disagree with that approach, saying constant denial may not be the best way to handle China. Kelly Curry is a senior fellow at Project 2049, a Washington Research Institute that focuses on East Asian security. When we deny that it's all about China, it, it makes them even more suspicious. So I think we need to be honest that, yes, part of it is about hedging and about the uncertainty that our allies in the region and our friends in the region feel about about the behavior coming out of the People's Republic of China. Wei Jingsheng is a leading Chinese dissident living in exile. He says as long as China remains under one-party rule, the U.S. should not expect a genuinely cooperative relationship with China. America's social and political system is very attractive to ordinary people in China, and the communist government in China feels this is a fundamental threat to the government's survival. The U.S. has accused China of conducting cyber espionage against it and says many such efforts are directly overseen from this complex in Shanghai run by a special unit of China's military. Such activity has caused China's image in the U.S. Congress to suffer. Republican Congressman Frank Wolf. Well, I think it's more negative toward China, particularly because of the cyber. Uh, China's stealing from us intellectual property. Washington has also asked China to use its influence to alter recent provocative behavior by North Korea. Just before the summit, the North said it was willing to engage in talks with South Korea. Analysts in Beijing are calling that a gift to President Obama and say Washington's response may indicate how the United States views the new big power relationship Mr. Xi says he would like to see. Natalie Leo, VOA News, Washington.